Hey girls, so I'm gonna do my week 18 pregnancy vlog. Yeah, so we had our ultrasound, um, our anatomy scan today. Um, and then yesterday I had my um, just like weekly or monthly appointment. Um, so all doctor's appointments are out of the way for the week. Um, so at my appointment yesterday, um, they drew blood for the AFP, and um, they also did a CBC count just to check my hemoglobin again. So they said probably by Friday I'll have the results of that. Um, I've gained a total of 7 pounds. My blood pressure was like 102 over 62. So um, blood pressure is good. And I think that's all that we talked about. Um, or, you know, the vitals or whatever from the appointment. I'm reading my list of questions I asked the doctors so I can let you know kind of what, what we actually talked about. Um, the I asked about the palpitations that I've been having, and she said it's probably normal. Um, it could be just the changes with the pregnancy with the increased demand on your heart and the increased um, quantity of blood that you have. And... Um, it could be due to my anemia. So, but the thing is, like, I'm always anemic. It's not, like, new in pregnancy. So if it was because the anemia, I probably would have felt them before, which I did. I just feel them more frequently now. So she said, you know, just, we'll just keep an eye on it. And if I would start feeling dizzy or lightheaded or anything with the palpitations, then she would want to see me and send me somewhere. So I'd been having, like, almost like a menstrual cramp feeling, like the dull, achy feeling. And uh, she said that's probably normal. It's probably just the stretching of the uterus. But if there was any bleeding, then I should call her. So, Okay, and then the other thing, and I asked this question kind of early, but um, I kind of wanted to ask it so I could vlog about it because um, if any of you are a little bit ahead or behind me, it'll give you some time to think and ask your doctor about it too. Um, so everyone knows about the glucose test that they do around 28 weeks. And um, that test is to screen for gestational diabetes. And you have to drink this glucola drink in a certain amount of time. And then an hour later, you get your, um, your blood sugar checked. And I have my stomach's paralyzed, so I can't eat a lot quickly. Um, so drinking the glucola would make me sick. I know it makes some people sick anyways, but I can't put that much in my stomach that quickly. Um, it just, my stomach's paralyzed. It just doesn't go through. So um, there is actually an alternative test to the glucola um, that can still screen for diabetes. And it sounds ridiculous. And it sounds like I'm making it up, but I did it with my son, and I asked her if we would be able to do it again this time, and she said, yeah. So I wanted to let you guys know about it, since that is the test I'll be doing instead of the glucola. Um, but it's called the jelly bean test, and um, I have the instructions upstairs for it, but you you guys can ask your doctors about it and see if, they, if that's an option. Um, Basically, I think you have to eat something like 18 jelly beans in 10 minutes instead of drinking the drink. Um, then you wait an hour and get your blood sugar checked. And the content of sugar in 18 jelly beans is the same as the glucola drink. So you're still getting that sugar high that they want to see your body react to. But you don't have to drink that drink. So um, that's the test I'll be doing. And... Um, you have to use Brock's jelly beans, so if anyone's thinking about it, um, you could start looking and if you see them buy a bag because they are hard to find. Um, I bought my bag of Brock's jelly beans back in when Easter was here because that is when you can find them easily. And um, I knew that I might have a glucose test coming up, so... Um, and then my OB, I told her I, you know, bought the bag um, around Easter, and she was like, "Oh, can we have the leftovers?" I was like, "Yeah, sure, I don't care," because uh, 
I only needed 18 of them, right? So it's a giant bag. Um, they're, they're hard to find. So yeah, so that's it for the appointment. And then um, I had my anatomy scan today and they confirmed it was a girl, but they had such a hard time figuring it out because her legs were like really close together. And so it was hard to like see in between them. So she had them kind of like crossed and you couldn't tell. So they had me like roll on my side and roll back. And um, she kept moving, which is good. But it was funny because like where I was feeling the movement, I could see her moving. So that was really neat. And um, everything looked good. I am according to my doctor, I'm 18 weeks today when I had the ultrasound and um, baby's measuring 19 weeks. I have myself at 19 weeks and three days, um, which I think is the most accurate because I charted and I know when I ovulated and everything like that. So she's just measuring a couple of days ahead um, and she weighs 10 ounces. That was the measurement. I didn't ask for the length. Um, I could have, I should have, and I kind of wonder about it, but I forgot to ask. So, um, I will show you the belly. I'll put some pictures in of baby girl, and, um, yeah, I think that is it for this week. So, um, let me show you what we got cooking, and I'm in my pajamas because I just put my son down for his nap, and I was dressed all cute, and I, he just drank his whole sippy cup of milk, and then he was like, I'm going to pretend burp. So he kept trying to push a burp out because he thinks it's hilarious. And he threw up on me instead. So <laughs> I just changed back into my jammies. But, um, okay, so here is the belly on this side and front and the other side. We'll see. You can see my belly. It's getting bigger. And um, when she was doing the ultrasound, she said my my uterus comes all the way up to here, and I'm like, isn't that kind of high? Like. Obviously, you can see my belly button. All my books say it should be, like, at your belly button at um, 20 weeks. And she was, like, had the wand, like, all the way up here. And I'm, like, is the baby really that high? And she's, like, yeah. She's, like, your uterus comes to right here. And I'm, like, are you serious? Because that just seems, like, way bigger than it should be. But um, she told me to ask my doctor about it. So I will um, in a month. But um, the baby's head is right here. And her little hands are down here. And that's where I feel all the movement. I thought they were kicks, but they're punches. And then, um, let's see. They said the back is kind of, what, this way? And then the feet come back around this way. So, and I don't kind of confusing because she kept going like face up face down face up face down but the head is down here and then body and feet are up here somewhere so yeah but she's all all baby and I didn't even know it so anyways um it's it's exciting to to feel the baby move and um, last week, I think I forgot to say it happened like the day I made the vlog. So I forget if it happened before or after I made the vlog, but, um, my husband was laying his head on my belly and the baby kicked him or punched. I don't know. Um, but he like jumped back and he was like, Whoa, he was like, that was a strong kick. And I was like, you felt that? Cause it was, I was like 17 weeks and a couple of days and um, he's like, yeah, he's like, that was like one of the, like, he was comparing it to Connor's kicks. He's like, that's like as strong as Connor's kicks got. And I'm like, I'm in trouble then because what, we're halfway through almost and this baby is already kicking as strong as he felt Connor kicks. So 
I don't know, but um, he was so excited to feel that first little kick. So, yeah, but that's what's going on. Um, so, like I said, I'll put the pictures in. And uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. Um, but, yeah, I think that's it for this week. And uh, I will talk to you girls later. Thanks for watching. Bye. She's got a baby inside. Oh, wait. I just want to show you our baby buys um, today. So here we got a changing pad. We have one for Connor, but we're still using it. And uh, I, don't, I think we'll be using it for a while, even just to change his clothes and stuff. So, um, But Connor has the same one, and we like this one. And then back there, I got a bumper. Um, it's just pink, and it's from Carter's. I got it at Bye Bye Baby, though, but it's Carter's brand. And then um, two changing pad covers to match. And then I just set my sheets out because I wanted to see how the pinks look together. And you can't really tell on camera too well. But I think they go fine. So, um... There's even, yeah, okay, see the different, um, you can't see it on this one, but this one, they have a light pink bird, and it's on that one too, it's just not on that part of the sheet, so it has the light pink bird, so it matches, and um, I need to find a crib skirt, uh, the Penelope one, is like I think it's like almost sixty dollars so I was just trying to get like a plain pink one but I haven't found one yet so probably online I'll just look up the Carter's one and get the matching one but um, yeah and then last week I think I told you guys I got these but they're the um, waterproof crib matchers covers so we got two of them it's so important to have like two of these things, like at least two sheets, two changing pad covers, and two mattress pad covers. Um, three isn't a bad idea, but I, as soon as I take one of those things off, I do laundry and get it clean because you never know when you're going to need to change one of those things. If you got to change the sheet, you're probably going to be changing this too. Um, but it protects the mattress so that's why and then you never know when a diaper change is going to go bad so that's why you should have at least two of those and um we just need to start buying some furniture um we're like really hesitant to do it because we connor might not be in his crib when the baby gets here or by the time the baby is going to be sleeping in a crib so we're just hesitant to spend the money on it right now so, yep, that's what we got today. We got a good start on the bedding.